welcome to Plaid for Women TV, your go-to resource for the business of life. Whether the CEO of your home or your own business, women struggle with the same challenges. At Plaid TV, we discuss real-life issues affecting real women and offer solutions to help you achieve your goals, get connected, and be heard. Together, we will change the world. Let's do this. No mean girls allowed. Hey, welcome everybody to Plaid for Women TV. I'm Siobhan Palmer. In this video, we're discussing pelvic floor health. My guest is Dr. Marie Warner. She is the Assistant Professor of Physical Therapy at the University of North Texas Health Science Center in Fort Worth, Texas. Dr. Warner, welcome. Thank you. In this video specific to pelvic floor health, we're going to talk about a kind of a, a topic that some people don't really like to share, but it's very important. I know it impacts a lot of women. So let's talk about um, issues relative to pain with intercourse. What are some of the reasons that women have painful intercourse? It can happen for a variety of different reasons. Um, usually what is going on and why intercourse can be painful, um, again, it can be a variety of different reasons. But one common thing that I see is that the muscles, the pelvic floor, are not completely able to relax or they have um, the really tender to palpation or insertion. And so um, it can be a muscular issue in addition to other things as well. But um, it can definitely be um, the muscles are not able to completely relax. And so with penetration or insertion of whatever, um, it can be painful. Okay. And now does that vary from, uh, is it age related? Do you find that younger patients experience this or does it get more into the women that are like perimenopausal or postmenopausal? I have seen patients that are in their high school years that are unable to wear tampons. And so maybe they're not, they're not sexually active yet. Um, but they have pain with that. And so most likely it would be painful for them to have intercourse. Um, but then I've also seen it anywhere from like young twenties all the way up to, um, I mean, pain, perimenopausal, you start to get into other issues with menopause, such as lack of lubrication and that, um, thin tissue and mm -hmm. things like that. Dr. Warner, what about women who have not had children and they still have painful intercourse? Well, it can happen for a variety of different reasons. Um, I've seen anywhere from the patient that's in their high school years and they're unable to insert a tampon, and that can be due wh whether it was a trauma or they have um, they have taught their muscles how to not completely relax by delaying their urge to have bowel movements, or maybe it's just the way that they are, like they have anxiety or stress and things like that. All of those things can contribute to the muscles um, being tight and tender and not completely relaxing. Um, in addition to the women that are, you know, past their childbearing years, um, and they, um, you know, it could be um, those muscles just don't relax due to the same type of things like stress, anxiety, um, trauma. All of those things can lead to the muscles not functioning correctly. So it seems like, like any muscle in your body, if you don't exercise it, it can literally atrophy or not be as functional. So it's a matter of continuing exercising and keeping it strong, just like any other muscle? So yes, those muscles are like any other muscle in the body. However, whenever you start having pain with intercourse, exercise is not, is not always the best thing for it. Um, if they get really tight and tender, um, little trigger points will start to develop in the muscle. And so that can happen just like it does in your upper trap. Um, so like if you've, you know, been at the computer a lot and your shoulders are up here and those muscles get really tight and tender, you go and have a deep tissue massage. Um, it's kind of like that, but it's in a more awkward area of your body. Sure. And so instead of doing exercise, doing things to help those muscles relax, getting better blood flow and things like that is important. Um, and then doing things to allow the muscles to stretch, to, um, allow for that. Okay. Very important information. You know, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I interview a lot of uh, healthcare professionals. I'm just very interested. Why did you decide to go into this type of a specialization? So it really developed with, um, I, I just had an interest in OB-GYN whenever I was an undergrad, but really liked physical therapy. 
Um, and so I started really getting into this specific area whenever um, I had a family member diagnosed with prostate cancer and going through some of his struggles with incontinence and learning about exercise in this specific area. And so from there, um, I learned a lot about myself and what's not normal and things like that. And it just kind of, my interest grew from there. Yeah, and your passion for helping women and girls, I think that's wonderful. I think many times women um, feel more comfortable dealing with a female you know, healthcare provider, so that's terrific. Dr. Warner, thank you again for all this great information. If our audience would like to contact you to get more information or possibly set up an appointment, how can they contact you? So you can contact me via email at marie.warner, spelled W-O-E-R-N-E-R, at unthsc.edu, or you can call the clinic at 817-735-5400. Dr. Warner, thank you. Terrific information. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Siobhan Palmer with Plaid for Women TV. Thank you for joining us and see you next time. Thanks for watching Plaid TV. See you next time.